So how was the emotional roller coaster this year of not making a team, uh, being injured, being practice squad now? How, how much of a roller coaster has it been emotionally for you? No, I think the, the game of football is a journey, man. And um, sometimes the gift is the struggle, as I've been saying. And um, it's, been a, it's been quite a journey this year. And you know, I wouldn't want it any other way. And I'm just thankful to be back with a great organization like the Dolphins and help this team come out and win ballgames. So Vince, uh, you participated some in training camp, right? But then right before the season, you had to have an injury settlement, right? Yeah. So tell us about what, what happened and how you were feeling about the fact that I guess you weren't ready, right? So I got hurt during tra training camp with a, with a calf strain, and then we did an injury settlement. The reason why we did an injury settlement is because technically we, when I went on IR before the 53-man roster was set, my season was over at that point. So the only way for me to come back during the season was to do an injury settlement. So I knew I was going to come back this season. It just, you know, it, it's never a good time to get hurt, but especially during training camp sets you back. So uh, we did injury settlement and, um, you know, train, trained here in town away from the facility. And uh, my whole whole mindset was to come back and, and be able to come help the Miami Dolphins, you know, finish the season strong and win ball games. So did having extra time since your last NFL game uh, defensive snaps, and they had a couple of special team snaps in there this year. Yep. Did um did that help in any way strengthen the Achilles situation? The Achilles has been great. It it was a calf injury during during uh, training camp, so both are 100 percent healthy. You know, I've been I've been running around here for now <clears throat> the last six weeks and uh, bringing the juice on uh, on on special teams, bringing the juice on uh, you know scout team defense. So I'm excited to be able to come out now and and contribute to the defense, contribute to special teams, and, and like I said. Continue to help this, this this football team win ball games. Not everyone who does uh, goes on injury reserve in August and gets an injury settlement is brought back by the team. DJ Fluker wasn't. Many examples around the league of guys not being brought back. Did Flo or Chris Greer tell you at the time that you were placed on IR in August? We'd like to do an injury settlement with Carter with you and bring you back. Oh, it was it was in the conversation, but you know at the end of the day, you know the game of football is a business. You never know what's going to transpire, but. Um, you know, I always go back to I have a great relationship with Flo and great relationship with this team, and 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 honestly, it's not just talk. I, I really wanted to come back here, and I really do love this team. I love, um, you know, our family loves it here in Miami, and um, like I said, I'm, I'm just excited to get back and and move past the injuries and finally be able to just get out there and play play football again and be able to help this team win and be able to make plays with with guys like Gain, guys like, with, with Jalen Phillips, and be able to bring the energy on defense, special teams, and, and on the team. So before you re-signed here to the practice squad, did you ever come close to maybe signing with another team? Um, we had, we had, we definitely had a lot of interest in other teams, but to me, it was just the commitment from this team that really wanted me to, to, to come back here. Um, the commitment from, you know, Coach Flo, the, the commitment from Greer, you know, it was, it was really want, I really wanted to come back and. It was really cool to come back and see my locker wasn't cleaned out. It was my name tag was still up there, and that really speaks volumes of what this this organization is. And and you know I wouldn't really want to be anywhere else. No unfinished business, maybe. Unfinished business. That's right. What are some of the things that you were able to do in 2019, right? Yep. That you would like to reestablish with, with the last six games. Yeah, I mean, it's the same type of system, right? It's it's not overly different from when we had in, in, in 2019. So there's a lot of parallels, a lot of similarities. You know, it's, it's still the Miami Dolphins defense. So to me, it's not a huge difference. It's just being able to be consistent every day, right? Being able to be a guy that I've had injuries in the past, and it's now being able to be out there and be reliable. A guy who my teammates and coaches can count on, where I'm consistent, and I can be able to make plays and also bring the energy and be a guy that they can rely on. So, a huge part of who you are as a player and all your teammates have told us is, as well as your skill, is your positivity, your leadership and all that. Is that tough to you know, be gone for those chunks of time and come back and, and you know, get that role back? You know what I mean? Is, yeah. it, is it a different feel now than it was then? Yeah, it was definitely tough being away from the guys. Like I'm a, I'm a football guy through and through. I grew up in a football family. So being away from the game for six weeks, it was challenging. Watching games on Sundays not being able to be around the facility, rehabbing. You know, you're out of the, you're really out of the flow of things, right? So it was a challenge in a different way, but I always go back to like, sometimes the gift is the struggle, right? Like I've grown so much as a man, as a person off the field, being able to spend time with my daughter. You know, those are the things that I'm thankful for. Those are the things that, you know, you always, I'm a guy who is the glass half full type of thing. So those are the things that I've really took and being able to, to grow in, and not just on the field, but off the field those ways. I'm a girl dad too. That's great. <laughs> Um, 
you have, if you get a sack or something, have you thought about maybe you can do something to, to let her know you're, what you did and you're thinking of her or something? I, I'll be completely honest. I haven't gave it too much thought, but um, to your girl, girl dad point, I got another daughter on the way. So not only do I have a daughter, I got another daughter coming March 7th. So I got my hands full in a few months here. <laughs> Was there um, even maybe a slight gamble on your part when other teams call? that you were banking on the Dolphins resigning it? Was there any kind of gamble, would you say? Uh, to me, it was just going back to my relationship with, with this team and my relationship with Flo, like, that was really what my mindset was, was, you know, Coach, Coach Flo knew I wanted to come in and help this team win ball games. And um, obviously it's always a, you know, you're, you're hoping that the Miami Dolphins are still interested in you after the injury settlement, but um, kind of what my mindset was during that rehab process was to take it one day at a time, continue to, to train and get my body right. So whether it's the Dolphins or any other teams, I can, I can be ready to go out there and help contribute. But um, again, to my earlier point, you know, it was, it was always the Dolphins who I wanted to come back to and be able to come back with this group of guys, this locker room, and, and come help win ball games.